In today's video, we're going to go over some advanced uses of the Finding Farmland Calculator. So we're going to look at three different ways of purchasing property and how you can compare the results of those three different purchase scenarios. So in this first scenario, which we're calling the creative scenario, you're going to be using the Farm Service Agency down payment loan to purchase the property. So that's a kind of joint financing that you get a bank loan for half the property, a farm service agency loan for 45% of the property value, and then you're bringing as cash 5% of the purchase value as a down payment. And I've pre-filled out the closing costs, the ownership costs like taxes and insurance, and you'll see the total cost and payment here. But maybe you're in the first few years of your business and you're not scaled up to the point where you can afford a $1,600 a month payment. Let's go back to financing. So you got really creative. And you found a landowner on the same property, same price, but say the landowner you were able to convince to lease you the property for say four years before you bought it. And you're going to buy it using the same scenario, that same down payment loan. But this four years of leasing at $800 a month is able to give that landowner profit because maybe they've already paid off the property and they're just paying these um, ownership costs. And it gives you these four years to save up enough for that down payment of $12,000. Let's look at the financial statement section to see in this property we're going to say we can expect to sell $140,000 a year and net about $13,000 of that of those sales as profit and from that you're going to pay yourself about $30,000 so part of that labor cost is you paying yourself and maybe you have a partner making some off-farm income so if we jump down to the affordability section let's look at some of the different results so you're looking pretty good in most of these measures. But let's switch between the creative and really creative scenarios, see what's the difference. The only difference is in liquidity here. So in those first four years, as you buy the property, or as you're getting ready to buy the property, since you're not putting so much of your, your cash into a mortgage payment, instead you're using it for these lower lease payments, and it's just a, a clever way to ease into the, the risks of owning a business and owning property. But now, since we're getting so creative, let's try something so creative that we broke the scenario entirely. So you notice that the property price in this scenario changes from 250 to 300. And that's because you realize that by working with a land trust to put a conservation easement on the land to protect the land at the time of purchase, you could actually afford a more expensive property and maybe a better property for your business. So in this scenario, we found a different landowner that's willing to do the same thing, willing to lease you this property for this four years. And in this four year period, instead of saving up for the down payment, you are working with a land trust to negotiate a conservation easement and to allow them the time to do the fundraising and grant applications to fund your conservation easement. So if we scroll down, again you'll notice the long-term payment isn't that different from these other scenarios. It's $100 less a month. But when we get down to the financial statements, you'll see the big difference. Is that on this property, because it's better for your business, maybe you can, maybe it has a farm store on it, maybe it's closer to an urban center. We're gonna be making $190,000 on this property rather than $140,000. And with that extra profit, we're gonna have some increase, oh, sorry. With that extra profit, we're gonna have some increased labor costs but the profit's going to go up and you're going to be able to pay yourself more. And so if we go on to the affordability, there's a huge difference here. Let's switch between the really creative and the you broke it. 
So one difference is in this repayment capacity. Since you're personally making more income from the farm, you're gonna have a better debt to income ratio. You're gonna be able to be in a better position to pay this back faster if you want to, or just with less burden on your day-to-day -day finances. And the really big difference is in profitability. So in the original scenario, you're making an okay, decent 3% return on your assets. But in this scenario, where you have the farm that works better for your business, better for your marketing, you're gonna triple that profitability and have a better return on assets. And this is gonna allow you to maybe save money. Um, and that could make up for the fact that you, in this scenario, sold some of the development rights in your property. So really, even though it's a $300,000 original property price, you sold $100,000 worth of that value to, an, to a land trust. So really the, the, the carrying value of this property is a bit lower, it's more like $200,000 maybe. But because you're making more money every year, you're able to save up some of that money and build equity a different way not as much through land ownership, but maybe just through cash and savings or a retirement account. So this is just one example or a few examples of the ways that you could use the calculator to think about your long-term future, how land ownership fits into that, and how you can make a property purchase work for you now or work for you a few years in the future. I hope you can be just as creative. So we went through all this work to make these very creative scenarios. If you close the page, you'll lose all that work. So let's remember to go to the download section where you can download your scenario as a PDF. Now, don't forget that you have to do that for each scenario you've created. So now we switch back to the creative scenario and we download that one and we switch to the really creative scenario, and we download that one. And if you open one of these files, you'll see it's just a one page summary of all the inputs you put into the calculator, which you can use if you want to put this back into the calculator in a future date, or you can use it to show to a mentor or your lender or, some, or your partner, somebody that might be interested in learning more about this scenario.